So today I am going to be reviewing this wand here, which is the Irresistible Me Diamond Flat Iron or Straightener, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it both flat iron and straightener. It has two plates just like a normal pair of straighteners and you put your hair through it and pull it down or you can use it to curl as I have done today. So I'm going to show you how to get these gorgeous curls as well as review the product at the same time. So I hope you enjoy the Irresistible Me Diamond Professional Styling Iron. Comes in this lovely black box with a beautiful diamond and it's all gold foiling which is really cute. And it comes in here with a leaflet. <laughs> the leaflet's very useful. It has like, you know, the customer or the important safety stuff which you probably can't see because the camera's too bright. And it's got like the different features and stuff and it's really cool all the features it has. There will be a link in the description box if you want to check out the iron and how it works and all of that and all of this fun fabulous stuff because I'm just going through it very quickly. And also if you decide to make a purchase from Irresistible Me, if you use the code Irresistible Ling, then you will get 10% off your order. Brilliant stuff. It's got really cool things about the technology such as it's got centigrade and Fahrenheit conversion, but depending on which country you're in and the electric voltage that's used to power the iron, the display will show the Celsius or Fahrenheit. Being in the UK, it detects that my voltage is 240, I think our voltage is 240, and it changes to Celsius, so it's really cool. It's made with tourmaline, tourmaline, how do ever you say that? So depending on your hair type, it tells you what kind of setting you need to set the iron to use and then it's got some styling tips straight curls flip in and flip out I said those in the wrong order and then about the warranty but let's not go into that this is the iron you've got the display here which shows the temperature and then you have these lights to show you how hot the plates are which is very very cool you've got these special touch pads here you can hold it from both ends so you can really clamp down the hair and glide it through. So the buttons are hidden on the inside so you're not going to accidentally switch off when you are styling your hair. So you've got on here and then you've got the up and down buttons to change temperature. So I've used this a couple of times now and I think it's really cool. It heats up super super fast. I actually don't know what's going on with my hair but I need to curl it for performance later today. So I'm gonna curl it with these and show you. So I'm just gonna plug it in and away we go. So it's plugged in and now I'm just going to press the on button and hold it and then this light comes on and the display comes on and as you can see it's showing 130 and then it will heat up it's 140, 150 and then if you want to increase the temperature press the up buttons and the lights come on I hope you can see that look if I press the if I press the down buttons it goes down and then yeah, buttons to turn it up high and then you can see the temperature this means it's going to heat up to 230 oh it might be already at that temperature that's how fast it is crazy it's so fast it's much faster than my GHDs which I absolutely love but on the go very fast very cool I'm just going to section off the bottom of my hair bottom of my hair I'm just going to do some ribbon curls So when you're curling, you want to have your hair smooth, so make sure you comb it out and make sure your hair is completely dry. We're going to take a one inch section from the back, or roughly one inch, quite a big inch, maybe just a little bit less. There we go. I'm clamping it in, doing a little outward twist, and then running it through. And this is the ribbon curling technique, and this is the technique that they ask you to do in the book. Look at that. And that's just curled naturally and then I just like to give it a little twizzle. Gorgeous. It slides, <laughs> it slides, it glides through really softly. It's very buttery and I love that the plates sort of smooth out the hair as well. I think I've got a bit of my top end in there too. I just, I just think the curl is so perfect. It's gorgeous. Look at that. 
So you've got gorgeous loose curls, and then this is the straight side. Well, my natural straightness. So I'll show you on the other side too. So take small sections. The smaller the section, the easier it is to curl and quicker. So put it on, twist the straightener around, and then pull through. And then you get the curl. And then I just like to swizzle it around my finger. It's such a gorgeous curl, it's so pretty. And I love it with the um, ombre red of my hair, which has faded into this fiery craziness. But how quick is that to curl? You know like when you have a curling iron, you kind of have to be like one, two, three, four, five. Well this, you just pull it through, it heats up every part of the hair, front and back, and then it just gives you gorgeous curls. So, love that. I am going to finish doing the rest of my hair, and I will come back to you. So this is the final piece of hair to curl and I'd all in all say that it took me about 15 minutes to curl my entire head but I do have a lot of hair and it is very thick so it could take a little bit longer than the average person's hair. Look how gorgeous the curls are, I haven't manipulated them or anything since I've used the iron. So the only thing that I'd say that wasn't amazing was that it does take a lot of time so that's off to cool down. So I would recommend you leaving it on a heat proof mat for like at least half an hour to let it cool down properly so you don't burn yourself. You can get one of those heat proof mats that you can just wrap around it if you need to shove it in your bag quickly. If you're at home, you know, just leave it on the side, make sure it's switched off and unplug it and then you'll be fine. I'm just gonna unplug mine now actually just to make sure. So just running my fingers through it, it just blends all the curls together. Doesn't it just look gorgeous? I really do like this flat iron, I think it's great because it just heats up super fast, like you saw, I didn't even notice that it already heated up. It does straighten really well as well, I mean if it curls as good, it's going to straighten fine. Here is a clip of me straightening my hair. I did do a little flick at the end, flick inwards because I think that looks really cute with longer hair. The flick outwards seems a little bit dated for me, but maybe that's just because it hasn't come back into fashion yet. <laughs> Look at these gorgeous curls, and I love how they stand out against the black of my top of my hair. It's so pretty. I'm very impressed with this, and as I said, if you want to get your own one, there is a link down below where you can purchase it, and a 10% off coupon code, which is Irresistible Ling. I hope you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up if you did and you love my fiery curls, because I do. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, what do stars do? They shine. Hello, so today I'm going to be reviewing stuff, blah blah blah. Maybe I should do that, should I do that after I've curled my hair? I'm going to curl my hair live on TV, it's not TV, live on YouTube. It's not even live because I'm recording this first. I'm still in my pyjamas, hee <laughs> hee. It looks like I haven't done anything to my hair at all. <laughs> so actually still got this. <laughs> Crazy. My hair, I look like I have fire hair. Let's get grab that leaflet. I used my toe because I'm cool like that. Dum dum bum bum. <laughs>
I don't know, what is that gunk that gets on the side of straighteners? Is it like the conk? Ah, try not to burn myself. Is it like the, your hair gunk, your natural hair, like, oils? It always goes on the sides of my straighteners. I guess it's because I'm curling rather than straightening. But it's kind of gross. Anyway, you should clean it with alcohol. Not like vodka, but like rubbing alcohol. <laughs>